It's time for baseball. It's the Seattle Mariners against the Chicago White Sox. The MLB here on 2K Sports. Will they be able to limit the bat of Carlos Quinton? Well, we're going to find out. We're set to go. Trade deadline just around the corner. Happy to have you with us. 2K Sports and MLB. Everyone settling in now. U.S. Cellular Field to site. We're going to see Mark Burley pitch. Steve, as he gets going against these uh, Seattle bats, what's his concern? Well, Mark Burley has made a living on working quickly. He tries to keep it. Now presented by Pepsi, here's a look at the Mariners. Now the Mariners with a loss last night. Now an opportunity here in game two to change momentum maybe against Chicago. Well, this team is trying to keep an even keel right now. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. They are 500 over the last 10. It's just like they're treading water right now, trying to figure out what kind of team they are. And if they can figure that out and get on a stretch, this team is going to be just fine. And that will sit down each other. That one looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Now, any throw, the key part of it is footwork. And he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. Swing, soft liner towards left center. And that's the first hit for the Mariners in the now game. Batting. And a moment Seattle to check Mariners. out the defensive Mount alignment Fielders for the White Sox. 12. Any Wilson scouting picks, Steve? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. Ball! Hit up the middle, and they'll hold him at first base. Now we got a moment here to take a look at that one again, Steve. Great job all around. Well, defense running on all cylinders out there right now. It's coming together. And Griffey Jr. is in the box. And Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. Keeps it down that time. 0-2. Towards the middle. Mercy, that is right at the pitcher. You gotta hope he's all right. And they'll have to eat this as that will go as an infield single. Boy, I don't know on that count, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung's kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where it was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And heading to the dugout, Mark Burley. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And it'll be Ian Snell doing the pitching. He'll be Seattle's start. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? You know, the most difficult thing for a lot of Major League players is how to maintain consistency. And that's been the problem with Ian Snell. Early in his career with the Pittsburgh Pirates, he was an innings eater. 180, 190 to 200 innings every year. But he has since struggled. And that's because he's lost control of his pitches. His command isn't there. He's lost some confidence. If he can get that back, he could be a winning pitcher in the big leagues. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And that hit streak will continue as that one gets through. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, one of the more powerful swings you'll ever see. I mean, Jim Tomey's a big, big man. Six foot three, over 250 pounds. So if you're a pitcher and you're facing Jim Tomey, you make a mistake, there's a pretty good chance, and don't be surprised or shocked, that he hits it out of the park. Snell sets and throws. That one swung on its line. And Wilson brings that one in. Had a chance to check out the Mariners and how they line up defensively. Any picks here, Steve? Sean Figgins is really some kind of athlete. He shows defensively. There's not a play that he cannot make. He has great range and agility to make all the tough plays. And Paul Canerco to bat. Well, leading the league in home runs. Brief moment to see who's on top in our State Farm League leaderboard in hits. Numbers a solid offensive player day in and day out. The guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Runners on first and second with one out. Swing and a miss on a pitch that's in the dirt. Did not look good on that cut. 
such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Ian Snell gets him. That's strike two now. There's two quick strikes. Now he's ahead 0-2. Let's see if he goes out of the zone to see if he can get the hitter to chase. You're out! Strike three. Clinton on a swing and a miss. He's out. Well, he keeps the runners right where they are, so now he's just an out away from working his way out of danger and keeping this game tied. Snell gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it. He's oh. got no chance to hit it. And he leaves that one alone. Gordon Beckham showing patience. That'll even up the count. Only a 148 career average against Seattle. Here's the pitch. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. And he can't quite get back in time. He is out at second base. And heading to the dugout, Ian Snell works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And the all lit up here at U.S. Cellular Field on this beautiful night for the game. And Casey Kochman to lead it off. Burley with a delivery. Ball. That's a curveball in that first pitch, but it misses. One ball, no strikes. That's a dangerous pitch. Hanging that breaking ball up in the zone right there. Good hitters punish mistakes. That was a mistake. Damon. Able to glide over. Not much of a problem on that one. It's going to be Clement now. Nobody on base. One away. Checks his swing that time, but it's still a strike on one. Strike Mark two. Burley gets that important strike on two. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go oh. outside now. The one two from Burley. Fastball got him two down. That's a lot of movement there for a pitch at 87 miles per hour. Jack Wilson. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. It's going to be Wilson now. In his career, 269 off the White Sox. And Ramirez fields the ball. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And they're held in check here in this half inning. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crutch. Ball hit very well. Soaring into deep center field. Gone a home run. And they get the first run of the ball game. That solo shot, that is a big fly ball. one nothing. Now Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after. And Alex Rios up. An example of what you can do when you dive. Taking away a hit, making a nice stop, getting the It's a great dive and play, but I love how quickly he gets to his feet and it saves the pitcher a base hit right here. Nice job. It's going to be Przinski. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. One out, nobody on. Snell gets him to swing and the miss for a strike. Here's the delivery. Now he swings, hits this one very high, deep left center field. Gone! Goodbye, home run! They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. On the way. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. And he can't run it down. This one finds its way around. Rolling all the way to the wall. And he'll stop at second base. And it will be a double. Number 27. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. 
And Jim Tomey. Oh! Right there in the top five and home run. The 1 0 now. Right that one swung on and missed by Tomey, and that evens it up. The number is over his career, 256 against the Mariners. Missed with a curve, 2 and 1. Well, he had a contribution last night offensively as he drove in a couple of runs. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And Wilson brings that one in. Now the runner will have to hold at second. So a runner in scoring position for Johnny Damon. One of the best batting averages in the league. First pitch on the way to Damon. Damon will foul that one away. Oh and one offering Snell strike two no balls two strikes veteran Damon though he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there just a solid offensive player day in and day out and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Here's the pitch Johnny Damon on a swing and a miss that's going to be strike three. So the pitching breaks down a bit here in the second get out to a two run lead the bats are working the White Sox lead it two to nothing bottom of the order to get things started there's a look at Ozzy Ozzy Guillen things have been going right for him his ball club today uh, last half inning they proved productive now they're looking to expand that lead it's Riggins at the plate Burley with a delivery. Ball. That's too high for a ball. 1-0. and Okay, there are so many different ways to get hitters out. Velocity, the change in velocity, deception Strike in one. movement. Well, his changeup gives you all of those. Ball. And it goes foul. You know, as a hitter with, with Gary, we talk about how the quality of this guy's changeup. It's so, so difficult because ball. you want to get out there and jump on that fastball. But when you do, if you bring your hands with you, you've got no chance on the changeup. Fastball in there, called third strike. One up. Let's take another look at that pitch. It's a two seam fastball and kicking. And we're going to see Ichiro here. Now picked up three big base hits in the game last night, swinging the bat very well. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Oh and one Burley kicks and delivers line drive. At the That'll break, bring up Sean Figgins. Look now at the hottest bat State Farm our leaderboard for the Sean highest batting Figgins. average over the last 10 games. When you look at these hitters they're really the guys with the most versatility the ability to drive the ball to left field to right field and hit the fastball the curveball the slider. There's really not a pitch these guys can't hit and he steals off and then he gets away with it. He's one of the league's best. Now, each row loves to run, and this is a running situation. They need him to go. Let's see if they can stop. Ball Got one. it. A little low. Got it in the dirt, but he held on. Comes set. Now the 1-1. One, one. Boy, excellent movement to the cutter, and it's 1-2. Well, his timing is just off right now. He swung way late on that cutter. And Przinski calls for the pitch. You're out. And Sean Figgins not looking for that pitch. Strike three. Boy, it took four pitches. No wasted time right there, and he got him. What I liked the most was he was very deliberate with what he had to do. He knew he had he can go out of the strike zone to get the punch out, and that's what he did, getting him to swing. Oh and one Burley kicks and delivers and with two strikes on him Milton Bradley's got to be careful here the key to hitting the changeup if you commit early you have to keep your hands back up the middle and that is in there the tying run is on base there's the throw 
And that will bring up Ken Griffey Jr. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Line drive. And Conerco makes the catch. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored, top five. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Got him to chase that one away, strike one. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, is somebody they've really come to rely upon. Snell sets and throws. Swing and a miss. Three strikes and Alexei Ramirez is set down. The ability to move your pitches around within the zone, to change a hitter's eye level and keep them off balance are critical to success. Very successful there. Three pitches and a strikeout. And it's Paul Conerco now. He's the league leader in ribbies. Called strike out of half of the plate. 0 oh and 1. But Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Conerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, they got a pitch a good drive last night in the ball game, hit out of the ballpark, and they love that sort of offensive production. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout for it. First pitch to Quinton. Horrible pitch, but he went after it. It's a strike. Ian Snell gets him. That's strike two now. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. Ended this inning with a nice piece of pitching work as he gets the K. It goes quickly for Ian Snell. One, two, three. And it's Jose Lopez. Grounded out his last time up. Number four, Jose Lopez. First one to Lopez. Here's the pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Fielded by Ramirez. And Lopez set down. We're getting right up to the trading deadline. This is the central division at this point, brought to you by State Farm. First place, the White Sox. In the second spot, the Twins. In third place, it's the Royals. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making this all look silly. Now coming to back. And he so pulls into first Williams. base with that base hit. There's Number one down here. Well, he did his job right Romero. there, getting on base. Now with one out, let's see if they can move him around and get him in scoring position. And the first pitch. This is popped down the right field line. Should be room. That's two gone. This one's hit high enough that the right fielder was able to get into foul territory, know where the wall is, and make the catch. Nice job. Burley with a delivery. Wilson, he takes that one. It's in there. Well, you're going to see the frustration starting to mount a little bit here. They've had their opportunities. On the ground to second. Beckham throws the first side is retired. Some good work, Mark Burley. He has delivered shutout ball through four. We go now to the bottom of the fourth. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne, along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Beckham's in the box. He homered earlier in the ball game. Snell sets and throws. Fastball in the dirt. Good block by the catcher. Here's the 1 0. Should have let that one go by. Hits the dirt, but it's a strike on a swing. Swing and a miss in the slider. 1 and 2. Well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can do. You try to reach out and just put it in play, but he swung through it. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. 
one out. And Alex Rios at the plate. And one of the top ten averages right now. And he starts Rios out. Snell gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. That's a strike and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. That's it foul by Rios. Hit hard on the ground to short. Two away. Now look at the race for the title in the Western Division. Brought to you by State Farm. Mariners in first place. It's the Angels in second. A's third. And it's the Rangers in fourth. It's going to be Krasinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Two outs and nobody on. And here's the first one. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. And they can't cut it off. It'll roll to the wall. He throws. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Martin looking to knock in a run in the top ten in hits. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Called strike, and Snell's got him on one. The pitch. And that's a strike. Martin's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Let's see if he can make some adjustments in the game today. Struck out twice last night and got fooled at the plate. So he's got to wait a little bit longer. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. So Ian Snell gets it done. Another good inning. We're through four in Chicago. Bottom part of the order will get their chance offensively. On screen now, there's Don Wakamatsu. His two-run deficit on his mind, I'm sure, and making plans now to try and get something across the plate for them. Burley with a delivery. Takes that one low and outside, 0-1. They need more offense right now, Gary. I mean, you know, only leaving two runners on base. You know, we're moving through the middle part of this game. Lined right at the second baseman. Over to Canerco. That's one of them. Well, he tops that one to second. An easy routine ground ball and taken care of. First pitch on the way to Ichiro. Strike one! And Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. That swung on and grounded up the middle. And that'll sit down each row. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that. You have to have great body control to play this game. He certainly sold it there. And he got him. And Sean Figgins to bat. He's the best base dealer right now in the division. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. I dare you take a look at the legs on this guy. He can fly and really impacts the game with his speed. And it's 0 2. Figgins will be careful here to make contact. If the hitter pulls the trigger on this, he's got a chance to drive the ball. He opened up, was out in front, but the inside changeup can be dangerous. Head up the middle. Burley. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. No hits. Nobody left on. And a good defensive half inning. The White Sox still on top. And Jim Tomei to lead it off. Designated hitter. Number 27. Jim Tomei. Snell sets and throws. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. Well, I fooled him right there. That two-seam fastball has to be down in the zone to be effective, but it looked like he was looking for a different pitch. Fly ball. Oh, a foul ball. Now swing and a shot toward second. Retiring Toby. Look at the staffs who have been sitting batters down over the last 10. 
Brought to you by State Farm. Mariners number one. Second, the Yankees. The Blue Jays third. The Twins fourth. And the fifth best, the A's. Well, these staffs can really throw the heat. They can get the swings and misses, and those strikeouts can become so important because rallies can happen in the first inning just like they can happen in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. A line drive toward short. And so Damon retired. And a shot here for Alexa Ramirez, two down. He's a big home run guy, top ten in the league right now. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. That's on that off speed pitch, but can connect 0 1. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Three up, three down this half inning. The White Sox, too. See it. And here's Milton Bradley. Leads the division in RBI. Milton Bradley. Burley with a delivery. And that finds the outside corner for strike one. Lined up the middle. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. Now and that'll bring up Ken Griffey Jr. Right fielder, number Lined out in his last at bat. Runner on first Jr. base. Nobody out. He delivers. There's a strike at the knees on one. Right there, they've only left a couple runners on base offensively so far through the middle part of this one swung on line towards the middle and that gets the tying run on board. Now Fantastic chance the here. They tried to go down with that 0 1 pitch but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box Stephen looked like he might have swung ground ball to short. He's up with it. That swung out. And they got it right turn two. Well, here's a double play that looked like they ordered up. A great turn throw, second base. He was ready to make the play. An example of a nicely executed double play. A great Casey Cotsman out there with that unwavering look of determination, desperate to deliver for his team. Hitting such a mental part of the game and coming off last night when he had three hits, he's got to be feeling good. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. It's down. Runner could come home. Seattle keep that momentum going and stay with it. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch on the way. Hard grounded a short. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws on to first side is retired. They pick up one on three hits. Strand a man. The Mariners they are making progress. They cut into this lead. You're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Park and Steve Phillips. I'm Gary Fulton. And Paul Canerco to lead it off. He leads the American League and runs batted in. Ah, and he can't catch up with that one. 0 and 1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And it's up against the wall. So with nobody out, he's aboard at second after that double. Number 20. Well, this is just a good piece of hitting right here. No out starting the inning, and you're on and you put yourself in scoring position. That's big. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now. Seven ABs. He's picked up one hit of Snell. The pitch. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quentin needs to protect that strike zone. I put on a big time show last night. Three home runs in that ball game. Hot shot towards the hole. Oh. And that's out number one as he takes it to the bag. Now batting. And number mark your calendars. Eight. This Friday, we'll see Evan number Longoria eight. and the Tampa Bay Rays. They play host to the New York Yankees. It'll get going at 7.30 Eastern. One out with a runner at second. And Riggin spotting the pitch. Here's a swing and a ball hit high into the air, deep into right field. And out of here, a home run, two runs, one swing. Now, White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 51, Alex. 
hand. He starts Rios up. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Steve, a big fly like that at this point in the ball game. You, you start thinking, you know something? We're going to win this ball game. Well, backbreaker, boy, that kind of power shows the other team that you know what? You always have a chance to catch up or extend your lead. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Number 12. It's going to be Przinsky. Two outs, bases empty. Here's the first pitch. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Oh, and one offering Snell. That one's hit. Bradley to field. That's caught. Side is retired. Well, they had a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox up. Seventh inning. Quick glimpse of the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Shortstop. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. And that one adding to the win streak for him. It's now up to six. And they'll be looking to win their seventh straight game, so the momentum is definitely on their side. Burley with a delivery. Last ball in there for a called strike. John, you get to this point in a win streak, the expectations are, hey, we're going to win another one. Well, the expectations and what that does is build such great confidence, and it can be an intimidating That's thing when you have that swagger coming in that you know you can win the game. Oh. And it holds at 0-2. Now Przinsky positions himself, headed for the middle. That's a huge out right there. You think maybe you're not going to get to it, but he's able to make a tremendous play out here. It's Riggins at the plate. Ground out victim last time through. One out, nobody on. And here's the first one. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Offensively, now they've got to start to work the count. They've got to try to get base runners on and get things going here. I mean, you've got one out here in the seventh inning. It's not too late to try to make up some of this deficit. Good change up. It's quickly 0 and 2. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spots. Throw that change up away. Oh! Still 0 and 2. Back up the middle. Oh, that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. A chance now to take a look at the Mariners and how they rank in the American League right now. Sixth in batting average with runners in scoring position. Sixth in stolen bases. Now they're in the top ten in team batting average. That depth and length of the lineup paying big dividends for this team as they seem to find ways to get base hits. Runner at first with one down. First pitch on the way to Ichiro. Strike one! And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. 0 oh and 1. Burley kicks and delivers. He plays it on the hop. The second for one. Over to first. He is safe. Almost a double play. Not quite enough time. They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. Batting now, Sean Figgins. Fresh count, Viggins, here it comes. Strike one. Looks like the cutter that time for a called strike. Well, they need a big two-out rally right here. Try to see if you can't reduce this three-run lead a little bit. Leave yourself. There's a swing and a line drive. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. The White Sox still ahead. And if you've just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Cruck and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Cole. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Yeah. 
Snell sets and throws. Near first. Throw Gunny. That is one heck of a play. An example of what you can do when you dive. Taking away a hit, making a nice stop, getting the out. It's a great diving play, but I love how quickly he gets to his feet, and it saves the pitcher a base hit right here. Nice job. Base is empty with one away. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Now he swings. Hits this one very high. Deep left center field. And one more to that lead. Fly ball out of here for him. Starting to pound him right now. Every time he makes a mistake, they're making a pay for it uh, in this one. Here, a lot of home runs. You can't last much longer in a ball game giving up these kind of shots. Well, they got to get the bullpen warm. Oh, As the Mariners the bring in their reliever, this was an outstanding performance today. I mean, that's good starting pitching right there. He won't be able to finish what he started, but he pitched a heck of a ball here. Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Pitch on the way. Damon swings and misses for strike one. This game is not a done deal yet, but boy, when you get those kind of hits this late in a ball game, you're on your way probably to a W. And now the manager's got to start thinking about, okay, my offense has gotten the job done. What's my bullpen going to do? Hard ground at a short. And that one's through for a base hit. Second hit in the game. 500 today. So that brings now Alexei to Ramirez up. Still seeking his first hit of the ball Number game. 10, Alexei Ramirez. One out. Runner on at first. The pitch. Can't wait long enough for that one, and he starts out with a strike. His lifetime average, 356 against the Mariners. And here's the pitch. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, climbing the ladder on him right there. He just throws that fastball right by him up in You're the zone. Out. Swing and a miss. Now, Three strikes and Alexei Ramirez is set down. But good, great Number confidence 14. right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? That's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. And he starts Canerco out. Swings, hits this one very high in the air. A soaring drive. Gone, a two-run homer. They add a couple more to the lead now. A home run and a six-run lead. Well, he ended up hanging the slider over the plate that time, and it gets hammered out of the park. That slider is supposed to move sideways and away, and it didn't. It didn't drop out of the zone, and he just crushed it. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Number 20, Carlos. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch to Quinton. Line shot into center field. And that will retire the side, caught by Ichiro. But they strike for three runs here thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. If you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Bradley settles in. He'll lead it off here, inning number eight. He delivers. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And that's out number one as he takes it to the bag. And it's Ken Griffey Jr. at the plate. Base hit his last time. One out, bases him. Here's the pitch to Griffey Jr. Here's one that's in there called strike. 
Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the night. Mike Burley gets that important strike, 0-2. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Ball. And he lays off that one high. It's one and two. The one two from Burley. Ball. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. And he fouls off another one. Well, anytime you're behind in a count, and in this case, the one two count, you have to maintain that focus. You have to really be dialed into what the pitcher's throwing. You have to get in that defensive mode, though, and make sure you can foul it off. And that's what he did there to keep himself going. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Quentin now as he gets a little exercise that time. Second now look game. at the race for the title Four. in the Western okay. Division. Okay. Brought to you by State Farm. Mariners in first place. It's the Angels in second. A's third. And it's the Rangers in fourth. And it's Jose Lopez. We get another shot after hitting into that double play last time up. Base is empty and two down. Burley with a delivery. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. Uh, Gary, I think right now that... Uh, You've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, they just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdowns there. You only need four outs left to win this ballgame. Popped into foul territory down the left side. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. Well, the last thing you want to do in this situation is strike out. But with an 0-2 count, your chances are pretty good that you will strike out. But this defensive approach will keep him alive. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. The White Sox still ahead. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Guillen. Last inning, that pitching Number gave up 15. nothing. That's what he wants to see. Jordan. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. And Beckham's in the box. He's already homered twice in this one. Gary, okay, they're having a big offensive day. I think that's pretty obvious, but clearly one of the major components of this offense are his at bats. I mean, two home runs. He's swinging the bat very well. Looks so comfortable at the plate. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Here's the delivery. Can't catch up with it. 0 and 2. But once you make the decision to swing, you have got to swing the bat. He waited a little too long. He wanted to swing a little You're earlier. Out. His indecisiveness, though, caused okay, him to swing late from. and miss it. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. You got a second now to see the four seam fastball in KK. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. 0 for 3 to this point. And he starts Rios out. A liner headed for the hole. And it's in there. That hitting streak continues. That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles. First in batting average. And they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. And here's the first one. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. It comes off the wall in right center. The throw. And here's Rios heading home. And he crosses the plate all the way from first base. Well, anytime you're a hitter, you can get three hits in a game. You're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out.
And it'll be Brandon Lee doing the pitching as the Mariners bring in their reliever. And in the batter's box, it's Tian. Gary, I mean, with that hit right there, I mean, they're just pouring gasoline on the fire right now. Somebody's got to have a hose. Hit hard on the ground to short. Two away. Take a look at the teams doing their best to get on base. Brought to you by State Farm. The White Sox, number one. Second, the Yankees. Third spot, the Red Sox. Fourth, the Twins. And for the Orioles, they are fifth. Well, when you're ranked number one in on-base percentage, that shows that you hit for average, but you're also willing to take the walk. It speaks to the patience of this lineup, and they're among the best in the game. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Time today, he got his pitch and absolutely drove it out of the park. This could be a home run day. It looks as though they're able to lift that ball in their at bats. Uh, they're just so locked in. Seeing the ball it looks like a beach ball. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Johnny Galen. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the pitch. Right. Got on and missed 0 and 1. Steve, this lineup uh, combined with their pitching right now in a position to be unstoppable. Well, no question about it. In the other dugout, the manager's got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this pitcher? Should I get him out of here? Gone! That's a dinger. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Now they're taking advantage of them right now. Two at bats, two homers. Can't be feeling very good out there. As in real estate, location, location, location. You just can't let it get to you. you Got to shake it off. Come on. Now uh, it's, I don't know if I'd want to be a, an opposing pitcher right now. This offense looks unstoppable. Two outs, bases empty. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Ball is swung on in a long way, going way back, still going back. Gone. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Oh, it's a hitting coach dream come true right here. Everybody's hitting the Number 14, Paul Donerko. And he starts Canerco out. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. Ichiro will field. That'll do it as they put that one away. But not before they strike for five runs on the strength of three long balls. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Don Wakamatsu trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. And Casey Kochman to lead it off. Had an RBI single his last time to the plate. Burley with a delivery in there for a strike. Well, I think right now offensively you've got to start getting base runners. Get as many as you can. I mean you're down a ton so you don't need big hits. You don't need home runs. You need base runners. Swung on that is hit. And that will retire. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now. Only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. And the first pitch. 
Strike one. And Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. Oh. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Ground ball towards the second baseman. Back up. Oh. So Clement is retired. It's going to be Wilson now. Lined out last time up. Base is empty with two outs. Here's the first pitch. And there's a called strike. The nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. Lined right at the second baseman. Beckham. Yeah. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory. A dominating performance, Gary. Now we take a look at our player who is clearly instrumental in this contest, our Pepsi Clutch performer. Our fantastic display by Mark Burley got it done today. Well, you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Now, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. This is Gary Thorne with John Truck and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time as good as we did. Then you're all set. See you next time.